The Freestyle VTX by HD0 has been a wonderful asset for pilots because of its extreme long range performance even over DJI and its better penetration over the Whoop VTX. But there was a big elephant in the room and that elephant was its size. This thing could barely fit into the 5 inch Freestyle drones that it was actually designed for. Much less a smaller drone like the Grindorino and the Baby Hawk 2. These things were just out of the question. Well, that's until now, because HT0 has just released the V2 of the Freestyle VTX, and some have said it's gone on a diet, so let's take a look at this and see what's changed. Okay, so here it is, the Freestyle VTX V2, but before we open this up, let's take a look at the original Freestyle VTX to get a better understanding of what's improved in the new version. Cool. And it's actually two boxes, so let's take a look at this one and see what's inside here. All right, and here you go, your Divimat sticker. And straight away, you have your VTX right here in bright red. Now, this thing here goes up to 1,000 watt, and they do get really hot. So this here is a fitting color for these VTX. It does look really nice in this red color right here. So let's put this to the side. Besides that, you have some accessories down here. Looks like some wires. Looks like a retention plate, two of them, and some bolts in here as well. And then last but not least, you have a BEC. Now this one here is the version one VT, if you know about that, but this is the original version. I'm pretty much an early adopter to technology, so I did get on the pre-order list to get one of these really soon. And this is the first iteration of it. This one here is good for two to four S. In the later version of the V1, it was good from two to six S. So if you're gonna run this on a larger drone, like a five inch drone, Usually these drones have a 6S power source, then you will have to use the included BEC that came with this VTX. Now besides that you have a second box on here, and you have your antenna here. This is a right hand circular polarized antenna, which is really nice that it comes with an antenna with the VTX. So let's take a closer look at this original V1 VTX, and it looks really nice guys, really nice anodized metal here. I don't know if it's aluminum or not, but it does feel pretty nice and light. In fact, we should weigh this and compare it to the original version. And that's 27 grams, guys. Not too bad. There's obviously lighter VTX in the market, but this thing here is a beast, guys. This is a huge VTX. Now we've all wanted a one watt VTX to help with the penetration and for long range flying which is what you expect in a freestyle drone. You're going behind buildings, maybe behind walls. So you do want the higher output of this VTX and they did deliver that. So your typical VTX is usually a lot smaller as you can see right here. Now, typically the mounting pattern on these larger five inch drones is a 30 by 30 pattern. And this VTX does have that, which is a good thing. You can see we have the 30 by 30 mounting solution on here. But as you can see, the VTX goes beyond the actual mounting holes. This is actually a 40 by 40 dimension VTX here. In certain areas, just like this corner right here, it does extend to around 42 millimeters. So it is a pretty wide VTX. Now, as you can see, if you try, if you try to put this in your drone, it may or may not fit guys actually it might actually hit the standoffs and that was the issue people were having with this larger vtx it is what it is it did work some guys did just use double side tables zip ties to actually secure this to their drones now underneath is where the fun begins with the vtx where you have all the ports and just like any other vtx you have all the standard ports in the typical vtx starting here with the camera here this one here is the mippy port here and you have two holes here for your retention plate here to secure the mippy cable to the vtx Next to that, you do have a keypad port so you can change the functions on the actual uh, VTX. And then on the other side here, you have this little protrude here with a UFL connector, and that is for your actual antenna. And finally, on the back here, you have two ports here. One is for your actual flight control to interact with the VTX, as well as a update port here to update the firmware on your VTX. Now, one of the issues most pilots have with this VTX, the version one, was sometimes these ports here would stick out too far and during a crash it would rip a pad off maybe doing the update firmware or even this pad here for the actual interaction with the flight controller okay so now that we've seen it let's take a look at the v2 vtx now a little bit different packaging on here let's crack this thing open there we go oh well played very similar to the cadix version and there you go, it's, man, this thing is so tight. After watching this for a few minutes, you get used to the size here, and this thing is surprisingly small. So that's it. Looks like you have a card here. Looks like some information on here, like a quick start guide, what to do and what not to do. 
some foam and here's your presentation guys this thing looks really really nice now i laugh a little bit because this is the uh similar presentation like the one from the cadex vista as you can see almost the same foam with the same tab on here i really do like that presentation really really nice we'll talk about that a little bit later when we compare the size of this vtx now the first thing here is the vtx it's in the same nice color here which makes sense this is the freestyle one with the 1000 milliwatt output now my kit here does come with a 90 hertz camera on here now you can order this vtx with or without the camera on here and the good news is that this thing here this vtx is the same price as the original v1 vtx uh, so here's the camera it does come with a mipi cable and this thing is light it says you have an adapter on here for larger drones you have a 3m tape so in case you're building a tight fit drone like say a three and a half inch drone or if your drone doesn't have the 20 by 20 mountain stack you can use the double side tape and just stick that to the drone you said that you have your typical harness on here we'll take a look at that a little bit later nice and some screws we have some more mounting screws here this looks like the screws to secure this to the actual frame of the drone and then you have a similar antenna in the v2 it looks almost identical in fact if i mix this up i'm sure i couldn't tell which one was which so these are i would say identical and that's it let's put this to the side it's gonna be hard here i want to wait as well 25 grams thought it was heavier 21 grams with the camera 27 grams so not bad all right so let's take a closer look at this vtx and it says uh hd0 freestyle v2 on here it's really really nice and the biggest and obvious difference is just the dimensions of this as i said before this was a 30 by 30 mountain stack in the v1 and the v2 you have a 20 by 20 mountain stack and this thing goes out to around 30 by 30 as far as the dimensions on here so technically this should fit in the footprint of these four holes here which it does the big difference here underneath here there's only one port and that's the same port here for your ufl connection or antenna and you do still have the retention plate on here the holes for that so that's a really good touch and that's it so you're saying like okay where's the other ports that we had on here you have one two three four five one two three four five and we have only one on here and that was the nice change that they made in the redesign of this vtx most of the ports are on the side here you can see one two and then we have three four so it's all in here here's the fifth one right here and that is simply amazing guys so we talked about the ufl connection right here the cool thing is that they actually label some of these ports right here so now we have fw for former so we know this is the firmware port now this one here does have a different port compared to the one on the original VTX. This is the later design, the later port on the other, like the whoop like VTX. This is a smaller port. And I'm trying to see, we don't have the adapter cable. So if you do have one of those smaller VTXs, that would be the same port um, on the other VTXs. Now, right below it is the port for the keypads. And if you look pretty closely, you'll see it right here. It says, keypad on here so that's good that is a label on here so they put the extra touch on here and last but not least we have the port here that goes to the actual flight controller now they've made some pretty good changes on this as you can see the original port for the v1 vtx had these leads on here it's already tinned so you just saw this up to your flight controller the one on the v2 is a little bit different they're going the way of what we have in the dji 03 air unit where it's just a plug and play affair you just plug this into here and you plug the other end into your flight control now most of the modern flight controllers have a actual port for the vtx just like the speedy v f45 v4 and this will be just a plug and play affair you just plug this into your flight controller and that eliminates the wiring or the soldering to your flight control this leads to a really nice neat build guys now this one here these modern flight controls were wired for the o3 air unit and at the time of filming these harnesses are a little bit different as far as the order of wires but that's one thing you want to refer to your manuals to make sure that your wires are in the right configuration in my case i am just going to unpin it or deepen it 
and put it into the right location so that I have a plug and play affair because I really don't want to wire this up or solder this to my VTX. They've made it convenient and we are going to go there. Maybe in the future, HD0 might have uh, a different harness in the right orientation. The cool thing though, they do have a label here telling you the color. So we have ground a two to six S volts, which is really good compared to the original one. Um, and then you have RX and TX on here. So that's really, really nice. And then you have a third pin here if you wanna add a pin out to it, which is really nice. Now, although this VTX here is a lot smaller compared to the V1, it has all the capabilities and features like the original VTX. And that's really, really good, guys. A uh, thousand watt is a lot of power, guys. Or, well, it is a thousand. A thousand watt is a lot of power. Now, a thousand milliwatt is a lot of power. You can do a lot of damage with that. Now, it does come locked from the factory to 200 milliwatts. If you do want to extract the full 1000 milliwatts, you do have to flash a firmware on here to unlock it. And, you know, unfortunately, you do have a ham license to do that but that is available to you. And I'm sure most people will do that because that's the whole reason for getting this freestyle VTX. Now this thing here just solves a lot of problems, guys. Now, because of this smaller size, we can fit this into our five inch drone. It is a little bit taller, but this should not be a problem. And that's one of the best or the biggest benefits to this redesign. Now, as I said before, everything is very similar as far as features and specs. And that was never a concern but just the form factor was the biggest concern. Now, this is more like the Cadex Vista. And as you can see, it's almost identical in dimensions. The only thing that's different is that this one here is a little bit thicker, but you can take a look at it and it's almost identical, which guys is not a bad thing. In fact, that's a huge deal because now this VTX can now go into almost any or all frames, guys. For the pilots, that's a huge deal. But if you really think about it, it's also a big deal for HD0 as well. Now you open up your door to multiple frames. You're just gonna have a lot more customers, a lot more support for other frames, guys. So as much as this is beneficial to us, the pilots, I'm sure it's also beneficial to HD0 as well to actually go with a new form factor from this V1 here. And that's what I also plan to do with this new VTX here is to install it into one of my either existing drones or a new frame. Now you see all the three drones that I have here and these are actually three of my best candidates for this new VTX. I have this Nazgul V2 here and this is a pretty nice freestyle drone, five inch drone and it does have an analog VTX although it's good for around six or 800 milliwatts which is pretty decent for analog it's still an analog setup, guys. So this would be a perfect drone for that. But at the same time, I do also have two smaller drones. And I do like three and a half inch drones. This would also be a perfect, you know, drone or chassis for this new VTX. Now I have this uh, Baby Hawk 2. This is one of the better flying drones in the fleet here. And it also has a really, really small VTX in here. I think up to like around 400 or 500 milliwatts. And then we also have the new kid in the block. This is the Grand Arena. Now this one here also has actually HD0 on here and you have the 20 by 20 mounting holes on here. But as I said, it also has HD0 already on here. So I don't know if I wanna take out that HD0 and put the HD0 of this one in here. But if you have an other option, I'm open to that. I'm willing to buy another frame and put this in here and test this out. So leave that in the comment section, guys. And I will look at those comments and see your suggestions. So let me know what you think about this Freestyle VTX V2. Is this thing pretty cool? Are you gonna get one of these once it becomes available in your store? I wanna know down below, does this now convert you to the HD0 system if you didn't you know, think that this one here was gonna fit your drone? Anyways, if you wanna see the performance of this one, hit that subscribe button there for you to be notified whenever I do install this in one of my new builds. I have some other options here. I do have a new flight controller. I do have this VTX here. So this thing here is kinda itching to go into a larger frame like a five inch drone. We'll see, let me know your suggestions down below. So anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.